Welcome to Shep Rambles, where I am Shep and I tend to ramble about what? Anything and everything. From movies, to stock market, to things in the news, to games. Which is what we're going to talk about this time. From the PC Gamer comes this uh, very fascinating uh, news about classic World of Warcraft. And it's going to be coming in August. I've not played World of Warcraft. Um... I'm more of an EverQuest guy. I played. I didn't play EverQuest when it first came out, but it was. Uh, I got into it right around the Planes of Power expansion. That's that's about when I uh, got into it, and played it for many years. And uh, EverQuest still has a. I still have fond memories of EverQuest. Uh, I've also played on the. Oh man, what was that? Uh, the not was it the 1999 uh, server that was uh, that was made by uh, the community to be able to play the original EverQuest as it originally came out with the original trilogy, and and that was fun. That was interesting. I think it's just called P1999. Um, I wonder if it's still going. It's probably still going. And then of course there is the EverQuest emulator. Which I've messed around with that as well, but now that EverQuest is uh, free to play, I don't know if there's been much work on the EverQuest emulator anymore uh, beyond what was done before. But anyway, uh, yeah. So Classic World of Warcraft seems to be a thing, and I know that there was an emulator for World of Warcraft as well, and. There may not be so much of a demand for that now that this uh, classic thing... Because I, I... Whoops. <laughs> hey, look! Our first all-in-one gaming headset! All-in-one! Wow! Look at that! Um, I don't know. Ooh. Oh, look at this! Vader Immortal Episode 1? Is that, is that a game? That looks kind of cool. That looks really cool, actually. Um, I, yeah, I just was just clicking on the back here. Apparently, that whole thing is an advertisement. Hi, Talia. Yeah, it's black, just like you are, huh? So, I know there's been uh, some stuff, a lot of controversy in regards to World of Warcraft as far as where it was and then uh, everything that happened after the Cataclysm where it's just not the same game anymore. But um, with this classic coming, if it's still free to play, I may check this out. I don't know. But let's go ahead and get into this where you would get to play the classic World of Warcraft this coming August. So World of Warcraft Classic will be sending players back in time this summer, returning to the days before the flying mounts, dungeon queues, and the earth-shattering cataclysm. You'll be able to start living, le leveling up a new character in Old WoW on August 27th. You might not need to wait until August, however. From May 15, Blizzard will be inviting select players into a closed beta, while more will be brought in for stress tests from May through July. If you fancy participating, you can sign up right here. Okay, so as always, the link to these articles is going to be in the description. So you can go right here and you can click on this link that says here. Uh, from launch, all WoW subscribers will have access to Classic. So well, it says subscribers, so I guess that's not going to be free to play. So you might as well take it for a spin. It's, un it's an unusual experience, simultaneously frustrating and comforting, but perfect for a spot of digital tourism. For more, check out this World of Warcraft Classic preview. You can click on that one too if you want. Classic's arrival is part of Blizzard's celebration of 15 years of World of Warcraft and 25 years of Warcraft. There will be a few other things to mark the occasion, including the launch of the World of Warcraft 15th Anniversary Collection, which will be available from October 8th for 100 bucks. Most of that hefty price is down to the fancy Ragnaros statue. I don't think that's Ragnarok. Maybe Ragnar... Ragnarok? I don't know. I, I'm thinking it's like Ragnarok. 
Uh, the statue, and probably not the pen, mouse pad, or prints. And so here is the picture of that. And that's it. That is all there is to this uh, article. I think this is relatively interesting. Um, I don't know if I'm if it's something I'm going to subscribe to though. Uh, if I have to subscribe to it, you know, like the old time subscription services, I'm not going to want to do it. The last game that I had a subscription to was City of Heroes, and I loved that game. I did take a break from it for a while, but that was one that I always loved coming back to. And when they canceled that game, that pretty much killed it for me. Uh, when it when it ki when it comes to subscriptions for uh, MMOR R MMORPGs, let's try saying that several times fast. Um, since then, there have been other games that I've been interested in that I just I don't know. I just really haven't wanted to to get into uh, some games that I have thought about getting into. Uh, for example, like Guild Wars 2, um, Elder Scrolls Online. Those are a couple that I've thought about getting into. I did get into Lord of the Rings Online, and I enjoyed that quite a bit. Um, but then I was inactive for a long time, and my characters got erased, and so... Yeah, not so sure now, but... But this will be interesting. It'll be interesting to see uh, what happens when this comes out. This actually re reminds me of the the classic uh, server that they came out with uh, officially with EverQuest, uh, where they were doing the um, like unlock the expansions as you go type of thing, which I thought was interesting, an interesting idea. But it wasn't perfect. It was it was definitely not perfect, and it was. It was not released as a true classic uh, server. It still had uh, some of the benefits that were found uh, in later expansions. But you know, for a true experience, you want to go to P1999. Anyhow, what do you think about all this? Uh, this, this is this exciting for you? Are you a War Warcraft player? Maybe you used to be, uh, or maybe you still are. Hey. Let me know. I'm curious. I'd like to talk to some people who who actually played WoW. Um, is it still is it still worth playing? Is it worth subscribing to? Do you think I should check it out, or or do you think it's uh, old news at this point? I don't know. <laughs> Let me know. And if you're new here, subscribe so that way uh, you'll know uh, when there's new videos that are coming out. Because I do a whole bunch of different types of videos for this channel, all kinds of different types of things that I try to do with within uh, time constraints. But anyway, thanks for checking this out, and I will see you on another rambling video.